first thing you want to do is make sure you have all the fonts installed. So go to the font folder, install the fonts. Now, if you have a Windows OS, you might already have the Kazuka fonts installed, but if not, here they are. Next, we're going to head to the template folder and go to the logo file, open it up. Go over here to the folders and on the, in the layer, double click it to open it. This opens a smart object in the new window. Now, in the logo builder, you have two options. You can either make a TCG logo or an OCG logo. For the TCG logo, you want to make sure that these layers are visible. TCG designs here. For OCG, the OCG layers. Let's focus on TCG for now. So let's go to the text over here. Now for the text layer, three things to note. Depending on how wide your text name is going to be, you have to go to the horizontal scale and either scale it down or up to fit within the text borders. The borders are here to indicate how far the end result will be. So if you have it all the way to the edge here, the endpoints will go over the uh, bottom design here and it's gonna look very ununiform. But if you go down one, there's enough space there, so you know it definitely will fit within design. Secondly, the base text here has a spacing of zero, but the spaces have a spacing of 100. So when you do make a new name, for instance, let's go with Dimension Force. You want to make sure that the spacing is now set to 100. And you select all the text and to bring it up to close to the edge, but not exactly on the edge right there. Another thing to note that um, some of the ends, some of the fonts, your names will have ends. Now this font comes with the pointed end, but if you go to the uh, glyphs panel, select the end, go down to this end right here, double click it. This is the uh, smooth end. You want to do it for each end you have in your set name. So let's go ahead and let's render this out. So to, before we render that, let's go to our action icon right here. Go to the hamburger menu. Go to load actions. Now from the action folder, you want to import the Corvus Civil Builder. Brings it right here. So for starters, let's go with the Dimension Force logo. So to actually render the out, all you have to do is select the one you want. So let's go with the ENG one, press play, and it will build it for us. So simple as that. But you do see here how the end is super, super way off. So one way to fix it is just by going back to the text layer, something once again, and reducing it down by one more. I just render it one more time. See if they did anything. Yeah, a lot better. Um, if you do want to, you can always uh, adjust the uh, text layer manually. Uh, this is set up to have each thing basically individually edible. So you can go to text layer and you can move it over if you'd like to. And now it's in line. It's option if you like to do that. Um, this is pretty much it for the TCG variant, but let me go through this real quick. So in the folder, once it makes it, you have the options to adjust the outer glow if you'd like. You can go to the text name here, the first layer here. Adjust the bevel if you'd like to. And the uh, gradient for this is actually over here in the shape menu. You click up here and you can adjust it from here. Any which way you'd like to. Okay, so that is the TCG uh, variant. Let's go for the OCG variant. So you just want to check the JP layer and then switch the designs to OCG. Now, for the Katana part, uh, once you add your text to it, you want to make sure that you um, scale these dots here to 100, just so it looks even because the rest of it is not particularly even. So once you have added your Katana, just go to the JP action, play it. And there is your Japanese version of your set. Pretty cool. Now, once you have made your uh, 
uh, all of us here. You can. You can say you want to save this, this layer here. Then close it. And then you want to go to the Core Booster tab. And you want to export it. You want to export it over the OCG Booster logo and the TCG one for, let's say, the TCG logo. Let's go ahead and let's let's make Dimension Force. Let's go back over here. Let's go ahead and make our Dimension Force TCG render. Save it over the TCG Booster logo. Now that we have made our logo, we can close out of these. You save it if you'd like to keep those um, out of there instead of coming back every time to remake the exact ones. But now that we've made that, let's go and open our booster pack. So go to pack file. Let's start with the TCG one. Now from here, you have a couple options. The background here goes all the way up to Dimension Force. So Phantom Rage, Wave Vortex, all the way up to Dimension Force. Simply just select the one you'd like to use. Dimension Force, do this one. The cover card, uh, you just drag in your render and position it how you like to. The overlay tab here has a few options for the text over here. We have the ratios, which is the um, card count. Copyright, right here. And the addition over here. Uh, the logo, you want to select the logo and right click go to replace contents and then you will grab the logo that you just exported so this would be the tcg logo so select it it'll replace it exactly how it should be and then for the um branding you have the konami logo and then the pack crimp and then once you've done that you just export it to the tcg pack Okay, now let's check out the OCG pack. Same concept. You have your eight backgrounds here. Cover card, same thing. Overlays are a bit different. The ratios, there's two ratios here. You have the, uh, this is how many packs are in a box, I believe, or cards in a pack. Yeah, this is cards in the pack. And your second ratio is the restriction of the nine years or older, I believe. Then you have your logo, same thing. Right click, content, replace contents, go to the OCG logo. Branding, uh, you have your copyright, your Konami logo. And then your foiling, which is the um, square design. You can uh, disable the mask if you'd like to. But um, it's there just to kind of make it look a little bit more like a pack. And then once you have made that, you will export it to the OCG pack. Now that we've made our pack and our logo, we can now go to the booster boxes. So let's start the TCG view. Start out with side one. So same thing. Select your background. The cover card will go here, wherever you'd like to put it. And then the logo. Switch it with the TCG logo. Go ahead and export this to the side one of your uh, templates, booster box, box parts, TCG, over on side one. Open up side two, same concept. Background, replace logo. And also here, I forgot to mention, uh, you do have your uh, ratios as, as well, uh, being the card count and the uh, pack count in the box. 
on both of these. So then you export this to side two. And then we will go to our top section. So a bit different here. Put your background, select your logo. Uh, some more text here. You have your ratios here. You have your card count, pack count, and then the hollow count. You have your copy right over here. Your uh, six plus age over here. Your edition. And then what's new is the uh, badge icon. So this is another smart object. You can open it, double tap it. So just like the logo builder, you have two options. You can either make a three line text badge or a two line text badge. So first you decide which one you want, two line or three line. And then let's go ahead and add an action. So you're going to import the TCG badge standard and then once you have made your once you have made your text, so let's go. Let's make Dimension Force in the two line one, and that is the show goes on. So then you will go to your you open the action. You will select two, the two line option. Press it. And it has now built it for you. So what's included in this is the the uh, text and the badge itself. Why not as editable as the previous uh, logo builder? You don't really want to mess with it much because it's just a simple tagline. Not much effort needs going to it. But once you have made the one you want. You can save it, close the window, and now it has appeared on your thing. So once you have made your badge, replace your text and everything, and then you have added your cover car to the cover car folder, you can now import the final action, which is the uh, mask builder. So. Depending on if you want the badge on the right or the left, pick which one you want. Pick the corresponding action. So we'll go ahead with the right badge mass render. Press play. And it will uh, mask the box in the style of Series 11. Now, Series 11's uh, masking style includes the badge with the text. So like Blazing Vortex is like way over here. But for this one, it kind of pokes out a little bit and then once you have made that you can export it over your uh, top opened and you can disable this to export the this version over the top closed and that is all there is for creating the TCG booster box. So now that we have made all our parts to it, we can close all these tabs out. We can open the final PSD for this, which is the actual booster box thing. So what you can do here is you just click whichever part you want. So we'll start with side one, right click it, go to replace contents. We will go ahead and pick our box part, TCG, side one. Side two, replace that one. That's side two. Go to our top here. Replace that with the open version. Click our packs. We will go to the mockups. Select your TCG pack, and there is our TCG display box. Then we will export this. into the mockup over our booster box opened. Then we will close our display, open our box folder, click the top once again, replace it with the closed version. And 
export that. Now we have made our own custom TCG booster box. So now we can move on to the OCG booster box. Not much of a difference, but a few things have changed. So we'll open these up, starting with side one. So one new addition to the uh, OCG version is of the uh, set contents. And the OCG booster boxes have the set contents on the left and right sides, and the back has a few more uh, clarification and stuff. So, when you go to the ratio, it'll be ratio two. You can uh, adjust the total cards in the set. This is 80, and the set contents of your super rares, ultra rares, your prismatic secret rares, stuff like that. And then the graphic design is right here for that. Um, but your ratio one is going to be over here, which is the total amount of packs in the box. But let's look, let's make Dementia Force real quick. So again, we will replace this with our OCG logo. We will export this to our OCG side one. Open up side two, same concept. Side two. And finally to the top portion. Now, unlike the TCG version, there is no badge icon to adjust, uh, but the OCG version does have the plus one decal here not really editable because you don't really need just it because it's just a simple graphic but let's go ahead and make our damage force now the OCG um, display mask is very simple it doesn't change because there's a badge so you can just disable this or re-enable it so let's export this to our OCG top closed. And then two are opened. And the uh, ratios actually are just the plus one and the uh, restrictions once again. So now that we have exported those, we will go make our OCG box. So same concept as the previous one. We will replace these with the ones we just made. Side one. Side two. Top opened. Our pack. Once again, export it. To the mockups. Over the opened. Close display, open the box, replace this with the closed portion. And then once we export this, we help, we'll have officially made our own custom OCG and TCG Series 11 boxes. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If any questions be sure to comment either on the youtube page or the deviantart associated post catch you guys later